poor power supply and poor revenue collection are some of the reasons given about six years ago when the federal government took the decision to privatize the power sector. The situation hasn't changed. Poor power supply is hindering Nigeria's economic growth. This is not the privatization we uh, all uh, dreamt of or envisaged. That is what we call um, a non-performances. One, the government has a responsibility in the privatization exercise, just like the operators. So both sides, um, they've not uh, kept faith. You know. Every month they will print their bill and collect money without giving their life. We've been lied by ourselves. Post, wire, everything we wire and we paid. And uh, before they connect, they hook the light. There was a little agreement that they are going to compensate us by giving us some moons to use light before they start billing us. We are not up to a moon plus B begin to come. Residents of Pigwa Sama in Apo, Abuja say they are forced to pay for services not rendered. The poor power supply in this community makes lots of consumers feel cheated. According to them, when they don't pay, they get disconnected. Even when they pay, they still get disconnected. For people, they are bringing the block from where they are doing it. We will buy it 250, 300 naira before we manage to see that block. Like me, I do mineral and pure water business at home, but no light to cool my drinks. One of our transformers, the GMP court, they promised that by yesterday they are going to repair it. But throughout that yesterday, they didn't come. Then when I called back, the report they gave to me was that they are coming from a post zone to Rokogoma. And reaching there, the person that has the key was nowhere to be found. The Abuja Power Service provider blamed the disconnection to outstanding and accumulated bills. Customers hold this very strange belief that there is no way we are, uh, the discos are not cheating them. The discos also hold the, the view, and empirical, empirically too, that estimated billing in most of the cases is accurate. We are not ruling, ruling out the possibility of wrongs here and there because anything that has human intervention is also open to a, a wrong I mean, a calculation. Since October 2017, plans to review the privatization of Nigeria power industry has been on gear with the ad hoc committee set up in November 2019. The National Economic Council also resolved to constitute an ad hoc committee, including Governor Nasir El Rufai of Kaduna State, as well as governors representing the six geopolitical zones who are currently serving in the board of the Niger Delta Power Holding Company, to review the status of the ownership structure of the power distribution companies. The federal government of Nigeria, rather than chasing shadows, because what they are doing here, you are setting up a RFI committee, we give it to them, they have their reasons. For now, the terms of reference of the committee is very sketchy, so I cannot dwell on it. Yes, as a government, they should be concerned. All Nigerians are concerned. But we should buckle up and make sure, make sure that we address the problems in the power sector frontally. We know the problems, we know the solutions, but we lack the will, the political will as a nation. Because there is no strategic plan in this country. And unfortunately, the present government, no strategic plan on how to address the issues in the power sector. At the moment, electricity consumers like this one in Piba hope that the ad hoc committee will deliver on its clearly stated mandate that will jumpstart the process of providing steady, constant and affordable power supply in the country. Mwesi Igono, AIT News, Bigba, Sama, Apo, Abuja.